but I just wanted to be honest and tell you guys, oh my God, this is literally the first time I've ever cried on YouTube. Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty. Today's video is going to be a daily vlog. I am about to hit the gym. What's up? I am back. We're gonna do a little bit of a get ready with me in this vlog I'm sorry that I didn't vlog too much at the gym. I never really do It's honestly just hard for me to focus on both things at once like recording myself and getting in a good workout My hair's getting stuck in here and pfft, This is why I hold my hair back when I get ready So let me grab a clip anyways if you guys want to see a dedicated everyday workout routine Let me know in the comments because I have had a lot of requests to do that since I haven't been filming much lately This vlog is gonna be good practice to just get back in the swing of things because even though I upload twice a week and I I've always been consistent with that behind the scenes you guys don't see that it's not very structured like I'm staying up all night or I'm editing videos on an airplane and things like that because I don't set apart dates in advance I've been posting a lot of throwback pictures on Instagram lately from photo shoots I did a long time ago because I don't have any updated current photos really that I've taken but I have a photo shoot with someone on Sunday I'm super excited about and then another one on Wednesday so I'm gonna have some content one of the photographers is kind of like a festival photographer I'm super excited for that voila now I'm ready I just got dressed. I put on a black shirt and I'm about to go downstairs to meet up with Olivia I'm so excited. We're gonna get our nails done, which is much needed. Hey guys So I am in Olivia's car right now. She just got this new whip. It has black rims black tires black car Everything this is my alarm to get a mani-pedi. So we are on our way there right freaking now So these are my toes I got like a purple-ish color by Joe oh, okay. manicure These are Olivia's fingernails, mm -hmm. so cute, and then her toes. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what's up? I'm now back at the house. I just straightened my hair. Since this is more of a random vlog, I thought I would show you guys the changes I made to my filming room because I did redecorate it. It looks completely different. So when you walk in, on this side, I now have an astrology tapestry that I used to use a long time ago. I think it's so cute. My alligator light neon sign, my little selfie ring light. You can adjust the brightness and like what kind of light and everything that it has for live streaming. I haven't actually used it yet, but I plan on doing that very soon. Right here, I have a notebook with a bunch of different video ideas, some pens, my planner for filming, etc. A note from a subscriber, a picture with someone from VidCon last year, my YouTube 100 subscriber plaque, 100,000 subscriber plaque. This kind of like added some more flair I felt like. Then I have this painting and another tapestry that I thought matched that a lot better. And I actually moved my Roomba in here so it wouldn't be out in like the middle of the floor. And then I put my ring light right here. And then I put sheets in there because this actually goes out into a futon. So it's like a bed for when guests stay over. And I use it to sit on when I'm filming on this side. And then I also cleaned out the closet. So I now have rave jackets in here my Christmas tree reorganized everything. So yeah Before I redid this room, I didn't even realize but it was taking such a toll on me creatively This wall was completely blank because I had been using it before for ASMR And it just would remind me of that channel and like how things didn't work out Which is something I didn't want to have to do But you guys know where I live is just way too freaking noisy and the tapestry that I had in here I've been using for so long that I was just really sick of looking at it It was kind of crooked So I did a lot more of a careful job when setting these ones up. Yeah, this is my workroom now I feel so great about it. I'm just gonna be filming tons of videos for you guys coming up I also did get a 10 inch box spring in my room So I kind of want to show you my bed in there because it's so comfortable when you enter my room My bed is a lot higher off the ground I don't know if you guys can really tell but it makes a huge difference in here visually to me personally I'm about to make some avocado toast right now. You get two pieces of bread put it it in the toaster. I usually put it on bagel to make it a little bit crispy. And then I already have half an avocado in here. Oh, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> Ew, I'm not gonna eat that. I'm gonna open the new one. <gasps> it feels so mushy. I've been doing this new thing called Instacart. If you guys wanna check it out, it will be linked in the description box. It's under all of the other links I have for like free stuff or discounts. It's not sponsored or anything. I just started using it. It's a way to get your groceries delivered to you. So if you guys use my code, then you get $10 and I also get $10. The only downside is when they're picking out your fruit and vegetables and things like that if they're mushy and bruised like you're not there to really decide that you just are telling them what to pick up but honestly it's so great because i actually have food 
in my fridge now. Like for me, this is a lot. I know it's mostly Red Bulls and wine, but I have stuff for salads, guacamole. I have tons of pizzas and Halo ice cream. I've been eating this stuff with the Cool Whip with fruit and it's totally my guilty pleasure in the middle of the night. Like it's so, so freaking good. This stuff tastes amazing. It's only 280 calories. So yeah, I've been using that recently to get food sent to the house because I'm lazy. Lord knows I hate grocery shopping. Ta-da, my masterpiece. I think we are going to go sit on the porch and eat this because if you guys didn't know, I actually went ahead and ordered a whole nother set of table and chairs because I couldn't just order the chairs on their own and I wanted to be able to sit out here with more than just myself or one other person. So that's why we have four chairs. Hey guys, so since this is more of a chill vlog, I wanted to do a bit of a Q and A and answer some questions, address a few things, but to be honest, I was only just kind of doing this so I could talk about one thing that's been really bothering me that I wanted to get off my chest. So we're just gonna have a heart to heart combo. In my 2018 year in review video, I talked about everything that happened from start to finish in a year. If it wasn't for that being the content of the video, I definitely wouldn't have addressed or ever volunteered the information that I did about a few things. One being my relationship, ex relationship, whatever you wanna call it. I'm no longer with that person. And I think a lot of you guys were even confused when watching that video because I put a small clip in that had some text saying that I didn't know if he was going to still live here as in in the area that I live in or if we were still together because I basically filmed that video and then we broke up but that was still everything that happened in 2018 so I was still gonna post it like that but I didn't want people to think I was still with him so I put that in but it was kind of vague because I still didn't really know what was going on at the time and I felt obligated to try and make things work because he did move down here but I came to the conclusion that I just simply don't want to I'm not gonna share details on here it's personal nobody really needs to know just understand that I did make the right decision it didn't work out all the other times I was always waiting around for things to change for whatever reason I thought that things would be different if he moved down here people don't change unless they really want to change and they really work on themselves and take responsibility for the things that they're doing and they get help we both had fallen into that pattern of breaking up and getting back together and I think he expected me to just take him back and I was like no I'm good it's fine I'm just gonna focus on my content my videos like a relationship is just not a main focus priority for me. I would love to date around. I would love to be single. I would love to nurture my friendships. Even though he's not a bad guy, he's a really good person. He was very loyal, very honest with me. That was one thing that I really loved about him and I never had to worry about with him because in the past I dated a ton of guys who just cheated on me like crazy. But we had our own separate problems. Just because someone's loyal to you doesn't mean that they're a good boyfriend or that they treat you right because that definitely didn't excuse all of his other actions and behaviors. I just was kind of mad at myself that I put that out on YouTube. Like I didn't want to put that out there for nothing. I thought we really were going to be together and we were, but things just fell apart again, like they always do. It just got to a point where I was like, yeah, this is not it for me. Like I'm so young, there's so much I wanna do with my life. I've only lived here for like four-ish months or something like that. So I don't want anything to be distracting me or keeping me away from my goals. We're not falling back into these toxic patterns 2019. Uh-uh, that's not happening. Cause I look back on things now and I'm just like, why? I don't think I would have been able to completely let go of that relationship if I didn't try it out where he lived close by because I would always blame our relationship problems on the phone being long distance, but that isn't it. So, oh, my foot's falling asleep. Oh, my toes look so pretty. He would always tell me things were gonna be different and I was so in love with this guy. Me being on the high of that emotion, I would ride it out until I would see the relationship for what it was, like the true colors of it. And then I would already be like sucked into it. It would just be the same pattern over and over and over because when you're not with someone for a while, like you take a break from them and you come back to each other, it's easy to convince yourself that things are different now. I don't want to set that kind of example that an on and off relationship is healthy because it's not. I thought, oh, well, if he gets help, if he goes to therapy or if we go to couples counseling, that'll change things. Not saying people can never change, but in this case, in three years, I really didn't see any kind of growth. I mean, if you guys saw my 2018 year in review video, you'll probably see why I did habitually go back to him. It was a comfort zone for me and 2018 was one of the hardest years of my entire life and he was always there to help pick up the pieces. Like when I overdosed on Mucinex and almost died, he drove up to my apartment and took care of me. There were tons of scenarios like that where he was always there and I appreciate him so much for that and that's why it was so easy to fall back into things with him because that's my love language. Like when people go out of their way to do things for me to help me out and like favors and things like that. Like when I moved here, he drove down my couch in the back of this truck because it wouldn't fit in the U-Haul. He's done tons of things like that and that's why I would always allow him back in my life and things would escalate and we would end back up in a relationship or working on things. You have to remember to love yourself and respect yourself and know when to walk away and trust me, it's hard. Like it's really hard, but 
that's just the situation and I gave it my best shot I did so much like I really 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 love this person and they're the only person I've like been with since doing YouTube and um yeah they it just it's hard like I feel like I'm losing my best friend because I am and I'm really sad about it but it just got so unhealthy to a point where I can't take him back I wouldn't respect myself if I did that and I wouldn't expect anyone else to respect me including you guys but I just wanted to be honest and tell you guys oh my god this is literally the first time I've ever cried on YouTube that's annoying <laughs> breakups are hard especially if you're still in love with the person or you still care about them or you thought that you guys were gonna have a future together it makes me really sad like it does but I am done I am done or else I wouldn't be posting this I just felt like I owed it to you guys because I did talk about it and it's annoying that this is public for people to see that I got back with him and it didn't work out again like who wants to have a breakup let alone a breakup in front of a bunch of people I think I'm just gonna end the video here. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe, follow my social media, check out my merch at AllieHardesty.shop, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.